If you look over to the left, you'll see the project manager. This is what houses all the drawings. This is what maintains all the drawings that's in your project. Uh, this is going to keep up with various project settings, uh, paths, uh, different things like that. In here we have a PNID drawings folder. You can create a, a folder structure any way you want to, any hierarchy that you want to create here. Uh, you're not restricted in, in that manner. Um, in here we just went with the default. We have PNID drawings. We also have Plant 3D drawings. Plant 3D has not been released yet, but in this version of AutoCAD PNID 2010, uh, they're letting you know that this is coming. This is right around the corner, and it is currently in beta, beta 3 at, at the moment, uh, at the moment of this, of this webcast recording, um, and it will be soon to release. So be looking for Plant 3D uh, from Autodesk. Uh, if you want to get a little preview of what it's going to be able to do, if you go to YouTube and go to the Autodesk page from, on YouTube, you'll see a lot of videos pertaining just to Plant 3D, so check that out. Well, let's get back to this. Under the project, we have this folder, PNID Drawings. We have two drawings located currently in here. Now, I can add drawings in. I can create new drawings. I can remove drawings from this project. Um, all that's available to us. We also have work history down here below. So if I want to look at the work history for a particular drawing, I can select the drawing in the project and look at the work history. Let's go back up to sheet 101 and take a look at it. Um, it has a, it was, looks like it was worked on uh, today and it has uh, a note here of uh, added a line from K, uh, tank 100 to tank or to vessel 102. This is actually something I'm going to do here uh, shortly and the current status of this uh, particular drawing is in progress so you can change this to a uh, in progress or for review or, or even put it into a revision final archive and and you can add other things here by selecting manage you can add other uh, statuses that you need to uh, include and you also have another option here to preview so we could preview this this PNID to you know give a thumbnail, make sure that you're going into the right one that you want to open before you actually open it. Um, so you have that option as well, as well as details. This will let you, allow you to see the, um, the description, the file name, where it's located, the current size, who saved it last, and when was it last saved. So we have that information available to us as well. So I'm going to move this back over. You'll see some tabs here source files, orthographic DWG, and isometric DWG. These do pertain to Plant 3D. So again, letting you know that Plant 3D is going to work hand in hand with PNID. It's actually included in the same application. Now you can go out and purchase PNID, AutoCAD PNID. You can also uh, purchase Plant 3D when it is released and it will include AutoCAD PNID. So it's not going to be two separate applications. You can either just do PNIDs or you can do 3D plant design with PNIDs. So that's how that's going to work. Um, so let's go ahead and open up one of these one of these drawings here. All right, we've got one of the drawings open, sheet 101, and we'll take a look at what we've got here. You can see how the layering, uh, the the layering scheme is set up. If you don't like these colors, you can certainly change this. AutoCAD PNID is very customizable. You can change your layers from green to, uh, or if you want your equipment to be a different layer, your your primary lines to be a different layer. It's totally up to you how you want to set this up. Um, so just keep that in mind. Just don't assume that what you see here is what you get. Uh, this is the default settings, but it's very customizable. All right, what I want to do is we'll just take a look at how easy it is to place items from the tool palette. Um, obviously, when you're creating a PNID, you're, you're going to be drawing process lines. You're going to be going from equipment to equipment or equipment to other lines. Well, that's what we want to do here is we want to draw in a process line or a primary line segment coming from tank 100. 
So if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see this is TK100. And I'm going to have this line come in. It found the edge of the tank, so it knows I'm attaching to a tank at this point. Uh, after I finish placing the line, you're going to see a nozzle that's going to show up at this point, and that's automatic. That nozzle comes in automatically, saving you time and effort, uh, keeping you from uh, slowing you down with having to deal with other items. Let's continue. We'll pick the location for this line to go through. And if we look, you can see how I'm going to be crossing over these lines. PNID does an excellent job of, again, time saving techniques in that when we place this line in, you'll see what it does to the other lines. This line is now on top. It breaks out the other lines uh, so that uh, you don't have to go and you don't have to find that trim command or that break command and make a whole lot of editing changes like you do in vanilla AutoCAD. Now let's say we want to we don't like the position of this. Let's just move it down, get it out of the way. Well, I can just grab the grips, move it down, and look what happens. It heals those lines back. Again, a lot of time saving techniques here that uh that's gonna help you out. Let's take it and move it back up to where it was. So we've got our line in. Um we didn't apply any information to this. To know that, to know that for sure, we just right click or not right click, but just put your cursor over the line. You can see there the tag information is just question marks. It does, however, know that it's coming from tank 100. You can see that in the tooltip. Says from tank 100 to unassigned. In other words, we haven't attached to anything yet. We're actually going to take this line and attach it to a piece of equipment in sheet 102. But before we do that, let's go ahead and place a valve in. I want to put a valve in here, and you'll notice as I hover over a line, it's going to orient itself based on that line. Not only does it do that, but it breaks the line out. It's not a true break like we see in AutoCAD or in vanilla AutoCAD because this is still considered one entity. There's intelligence behind this. Let's place another valve. Let's place a check valve. As you're probably aware, when you place a check valve, it needs to be oriented in the direction of the flow of the line. So if we zoom in, you can see how it's going to orient itself with the flow of the line. And even if we decide to go in and reverse that flow, it's going to reverse the check valve too. So again, intelligence is in there so that you don't have to spend a lot of time editing. We'll reverse the flow back. Okay, so we don't have uh, any, again, line information on this, so I'm going to assign some line information, assign the tag. So let's make this a four inch line. We'll go uh, stainless steel 150, and this is a cooling water supply, and we'll just call this line 22448. And I want to place the annotation after I assign this tag. So I'm going to place this information right above the line. So the information I just selected is coming in with the line. Look, look at what it did to the valve. It also put the size of the valve out there next to it. It's reading the line. The line is driving the information for the inline assets. So if I right click and we'll go assign tag and we may change this to a uh, to a three inch instead of a four inch. I don't need to place another annotation. I just needed to update the line. There's a three inch. It also changes the valves to three. Okay. We want to connect this to another uh, vessel on a separate sheet. So we're going to go over to 102. And we're going to be connecting into this vessel right here, vessel 102. So I'm going to go up to line. And we're going to draw a primary line in. I'm just going to pick a location here. And we'll come straight down into the vessel.